All right, what is going on guys? It's Paula one and today we are back with another gameplay this time with the world's first Bayonet only nuclear in Black Ops 3. So before we get into this gameplay, if you're not already subscribed to Carnage Clan, make sure to hit that subscribe button, stick around for more content like this, videos that will help you improve your gameplay, extremely high standard gameplays, entertaining videos. Uh, we have a team challenge series. It's extremely, extremely popular. And we actually have another episode going up tomorrow. One of the most highly requested episodes ever so make sure to stop by tomorrow around 6 p.m. Eastern time to check that video out. That is Friday um, if you're watching it on the day this video actually goes. And also, guys, if you could drop a like, if we could shoot for 1,500 likes, that would be absolutely insane. It would really mean a lot. It helps this video get out there to other people so they can see this as well. And it really shows your support. It helps us grow, obviously, and uh, just it means a lot to the whole team. So anyways, oh. let's try to get into the gameplay a little bit here. Uh, the gameplay is a bayonet, only nuclear. He gets all the kills with a bayonet. And he actually gets more than just the nuclear. He actually goes on a 49 kill streak with the bayonet only, which is absolutely crazy. And uh, you get to see that full streak in this gameplay, and you'll get to see the medals at the end. Uh, but basically, the bayonet is an attachment that you can put on your crossbow, and it's like a melee weapon. It turns the crossbow into a melee weapon. So he doesn't get any kills with the actual crossbow. You're seeing the crossbow, so you might be a little confused. But there's actually an attachment called the bayonet. It's, it's on the front, and it's like a bayonet that is on any weapon usually you see. And uh, all the kills are with the bayonet attachment and uh, this is the world's first that's pretty cool there's nobody else really going for this so it's it's a pretty unique very unique actually gameplay very very impressive and uh, melee only weapon nuclears are not easy to come by there's not many out there and we actually have gotten a lot of them and most of them have been by the same carnage member and that is carnage nader the guy behind this gameplay he has managed to get the uh crowbar or the iron gym nuclear he's gotten the sword nuclear he's gotten actually a uh crossbow only nuclear and he's just on a roll he's really going for these melee only weapon nuclears and you guys have really been enjoying them so uh definitely go to his channel and check him out show him some support it definitely is earned and he is he's really grinding his channel out and he's trying to upload content that you guys will enjoy and it would really mean a lot to myself as well as to him if you'd go over there give him the chance to watch his content and see if you enjoyed enough to subscribe i think you will he posts crazy stuff and this is only an example of that you've probably missed a lot of his gameplays that are obviously all on his channel so you can watch all of them right there and uh there's a lot of stuff to come on his channel as well uh, going into the rest of Black Ops 3 but also into Call of Duty 2016 whatever that title is going to be he's going to be very very good at it uh, so definitely stick around on his channel to check the rest of his content out his link will be right at the top of the description below so his strategy behind this gameplay was to play conservatively obviously to kind of creep up behind enemies and surprise them that's the idea behind melee only nuclears you have to have the advantage over your enemies at all time uh, there was actually one moment in this gameplay where a guy was coming down the stairs and if he had gone around the stairs much earlier he would have gotten killed because he, he the guy would have been had the advantage over him at the top of the stairs he was at the bottom of the stairs what i did is i saw this i ran in front of the stairs i jumped up on the wall and the guy like came down the stairs to try to shoot me he killed me but nader was able to go around the corner and take him out so there was kind of like moments like that you'll notice throughout the gameplay a lot of things that are very uh strategically like a lot of strategy is placed throughout this gameplay so hopefully you can notice that and if you're trying to melee only you'll be able to take some tips from this video uh to do better because personally i like meleeing it's actually really fun it's kind of like a when you want to take a break from weapons you can put on a melee weapon the knife or whatever uh even punch only that's even harder because it takes two hits but if you want to put on a melee weapon or a, a knife or something uh watching gameplays like this if you watch a whole bunch of these nuclears that are melee only and then you go into the game you'll notice yourself playing similarly to these gameplays and you'll you'll find yourself that you're doing a lot better so uh that is one tip if you're doing that i know a lot of people ask for melee only tips which is kind of surprising honestly i wouldn't think too many people would want to do that because it's extremely frustrating but that is one big tip i could give you is to do that and obviously i'll put his uh class setup on screen so you have his class you know kind of what to use that will give you the best advantage when you're mailing only so um i'll be up on screen not for too long i don't want you to miss too many of the kills so if you want to see it go back to that point uh pause the video copy it down or take a screenshot or whatever uh but i don't want to i don't want to cover up too many of the kills in this gameplay um so moving on let's talk a little bit about the dlc weapons i know they're kind of they've been out for like over a week now or just on just about a week and i i think it's really interesting what they're doing so obviously they didn't, when supply drops first came out we didn't have any weapons like they did in advanced warfare that's not how you got weapons uh but with this new dlc that they came out that was for everybody on ps4 at least they put two weapons they put an assault rifle and a pistol uh into supply drops like you can only get them through supply drops and then they put a bunch of melee weapons which is really interesting to me because they gave us the wrench uh they gave us another one i can't remember 
remember it off the top of my head. Um, oh, the uh, butterfly knife. Then through this DLC, they gave us a whole bunch more weapons, melee only. They gave us the sword, they gave us the crowbar, and then they gave us crossbow with the bayonet, obviously. So they're kind of like really implementing a lot of melee only things into the game, which to me is really interesting. I think they're just having fun with it, kind of, because obviously the weapons they're giving us are, are kind of strange. So what my idea was, they have a plunger in Black Ops 3 Zombies. Like, it's an actual weapon that's already in the game. I thought it would be really sick, and I think this might actually be something. I think they'll, honestly, I think really they'll do this next DLC drop. Is they're going to implement that plunger into multiplayer, because it's already in the game, it's already implemented, the animations, everything. They just have to transfer it from Zombies into multiplayer, which is very, very easy. And I honestly think they're going to do that, which is going to be freaking sick. I can't wait till we have a plunger in the multiplayer experience. It's going to be really, really fun. So, anyways, guys, if you made it to this point in the video, make sure to leave down in the comment section below saying plunger. That way I know you listen to the end of this video and hopefully we see a plunger in the game. If you didn't know about it, I'll leave a picture of it down in the description below. Obviously alongside Carnage Nader's channel link. Definitely check him out. Once again, if you could shoot for 1500 likes, that'd be greatly appreciated. If you want to add me on Snapchat, I'll put my Snapchat on screen. It's Apollo's mission and my Twitter will be linked down below as well as the Carnage Clan Twitter. Uh, and hopefully you're having a fantastic day. I'll talk to you guys later.